Hey guys, welcome to Your Adventure Compass. Today, it's not so far away for adventure because the adventure is coming to us here in Howell, Michigan. Guess who's gonna be here today? None other than WWE legend, Terry Bollea, the one, the only Hulk Hogan is gonna be here in Howell. He's doing four stops here in Howell. And the reason he's here is to promote his brand new beer, Real American Beer. And I'm standing right in front of uh, the Real American Beer truck. And we are at a little party store slash uh, pizzeria slash all kinds of great food located here in Howell. It's called Jonah's Market. They have all kinds of good stuff and they carry an amazing selection of beer, wine, alcohol, you name it, they have it. If you if it exists, it's here. It's, it's uh, probably one of the best places I have found ever to uh, buy stuff. And the cool thing is, four stops right here in my hometown. How cool is that? So uh, let's go check out the line. There's quite a line. We had to actually purchase beer <laughs> in order to do the meet and greet because they're trying to limit how many people. He's making four stops today. It's only about an hour and a half per stop. So we're gonna go get in line and uh, we'll see how long this line is. And here it is, Jonah's Market, located right in Howell, off of M59. And the line is pretty long, stretching all the way back down to the end in this shopping center. So I'm gonna get in line before it's too late, because we've got a lot of people here. All right, so right now I'd say there's probably close to about 120, 130 people in line. Uh, fairly far back, but uh, hopefully we'll get inside. Uh, they, he is supposed to be here for, I believe, about an hour and a half, and provided the uh, meet and greets don't go too long, we'll, uh, we'll be good. All right, so the way they are working this, um, you have to buy, um, I believe it's a 12-pack of beer, which, you know, it's a little pricey, but uh, this, is, uh, this is something special, and I don't know uh, that I'll be drinking it all myself. I'll probably share this at a party. So they will come by and uh, give you a number. Apparently I'm number 52. I know there's more people in line, so I'm assuming there's some groups here. But uh, I am the uh, 52nd person in line, I guess, as far as the uh, meet and greet goes. Also right now, the time is 1047. He's supposed to show up at 1130. All right, well, it's now 1142, and it looks like we've moved a little bit. I don't know if we're cramming in or if they're actually slowly letting people inside. Uh, we have moved up one storefront here, so hopefully we'll be inside soon. All right, well, we have moved up a little bit, but look at the line now. It's all the way down to the far end here of this uh, strip mall. And uh, quite a few people in line. I would imagine probably close to 200 people at least in line right now. And this is only the first of four steps. All right, well, we're about 10 minutes after noon. Um, I believe... I believe Hulk Hogan just showed up because they had their social media team come running past the line, kind of riling everybody up, getting them all uh, ramped up for Hulk. And uh, hopefully we're going to get inside in just a minute. Let's take a look. All right, I think he just pulled up. We've seen a car come up. Everybody's got their phones up over there at the front of the line. So hopefully that's a good sign. We'll, uh, we'll get to meet him soon. All right, so that black SUV that just drove by us, I believe he was in there, took a circle around the parking lot to see how long the line is probably. And uh, I believe he's going to be getting out in just a second. Let's see. And there he is getting out of the car right now. You can hear the crowd roaring. All the phones are up. Hulk Hogan. And Hulk Hogan is entering the building. All right, it's 12.53. We're getting closer. We're really close now. Just uh, one storefront away. And uh, hopefully we'll be inside and meet the Hulk. Well, it is 10 after 1, and we are right about at the door. Just to have about uh, maybe 10, 12 people in front of us here. 
and we'll be heading inside. They're taking about, uh, looks like 10, 15 people at a time to go in, so hopefully just a few more minutes. Of course, we've got our uh, law enforcement here keeping everything safe for everybody. And the sign says they are filming inside. It doesn't say anything about not filming. It's just a warning to let you know they are filming. All right, guys, we are heading in right now. And we're heading this way. He'll lead you. All right. Pretty excited about this. Right around this corner. Yep. Guys, I've been in this store a billion times. I buy different beverages in here all the time. Never in my life did I think I was going to meet Hulk Hogan in this area. <laughs> all right, guys, looks like we've rounded the corner finally, and we're headed up here. All right, you can see Hulk Hogan up there, right behind the counter. How awesome is this? This is pretty cool, huh? Definitely looking forward to this. Wow, this is pretty cool. So even though I had been filming the entire time and had talked to their social media team, when it was my turn to go up, they asked me not to do any recording, so I had to put the camera away. I did, however, leave my mic recording, and I did capture a little bit of audio although it's hard to hear. With all the photos they took, only two of them turned out halfway decent, and none of the photos were the ones where I was smiling or giving a thumbs up. I'm not sure what happened, but I was a little disappointed with the results. Oh my gosh, my, my, uh, my childhood has come to life. I have, been, I have been a fan since the 80s. WrestleMania, watched you slam Andre. Thanks man, appreciate it. Well guys, I got all the way up there and they told me not to film. And I also got a signed case of Real American beer. So, got a little uh, souvenir for myself as well. And in case you're wondering, what does it taste like? What does it look like? Here's some images of the can itself. You can see Hulk Hogan prominently at the top of the label. And this is an old image that was created uh, back in the wrestling days that he got licensed to use on the beer. On the back, it's got a little statement from Hulk Hogan himself. And as far as the beer taste goes, it's it's an average light beer. It's not uh, it's not some sort of uh, micro brew, strong tasting beer. It's a very good light beer. If you're into light beers, you'll probably like this one. Uh, it did taste a little bit fresher than say like a uh, Coors or a Bud or something like that. This was a good, refreshing beer. You could probably drink a few of these versus something that's stronger, like an IPA. If you enjoy a light, average beer, this is what you're looking for. And as I mentioned, there were several other stops made in Howell, and we'll take a look at a few of those right now, starting with USA To Go. And then it was off to Buffalo Wild Wings. Oh, here he comes. And finally, he finished off his Howell tour at Tappins, a golf driving range with bar and restaurant.
Guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and click on that compass so you can get more great content just like this. And remember, sometimes the adventure comes to you.